hi girlfriend welcome or welcome back to my channel this is fab chic modest so today i'm going to make an experiment um have you ever had like a like a piece of clothing or a pair of shoes or something sentimental that you really like that you really didn't want to depart from so i have a pair of shoes that i actually bought about 12 years ago and it's just so gorgeous and um, right now it's size I mean when I bought it, it was size 8 and well I used to be size seven and a half or size 8 um, for my shoe size however um, a few pregnancies later I literally were like either eight and a half or nine so they're kind of tight right now so I just need them to expand maybe like half an inch I mean, is it half an inch? I mean, half a shoe size, I guess. <laughs> so that would be perfect. The leather shoes made in Italy, just the color, the style, I just love it. Um, usually, I just give my stuff away, you know, to family or friends, or um, I donate it at Goodwill. But I was like, no, they're so stylish. I want them, you know, I don't want to part ways. I don't want to give it up, you know. So I looked online and there is a way that um, you can actually expand your shoes. So this is an experiment, you know, so today it's a change of scenery. As you can see, you are in my kitchen because the experiment is that if you actually, I think mostly for leather shoes, I don't think it applies to any type of um, shoe material. I don't think so. So if you have le some leather shoes you like to expand, the experiment is that um, you can actually put some water in a bag, like a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag, and insert it inside the shoe and put it in your freezer overnight, you know. Um, so when the water actually freezes and becomes ice, it's going to expand the shoe. So you see why it has to be like leather shoes, because I think leather can expand a little bit. So I really, really want to keep my shoes, so I decided, hey, why not try this experiment and share it with you, my girlfriend, so maybe that will, you know, save you some shoes. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing. Um, you'll see how I'm going to put the bags in the shoes, insert them in the freezer, and overnight it's going to freeze. And so the next day, we will get the shoes out. Um, we will let it thaw out, remove the, you know, remove the ice and let the shoe thaw out and try it on. I don't know if it will be a myth buster, but a lot of people swear by it. <laughs> I watch a few videos, so I'm like, okay, let's try that. So hopefully if you didn't know about it, you know, that will help you. And it's just something fun to do. So um, you didn't know that um, a fashion video, a fashion channel will lend you into the kitchen, right? <laughs> So, yeah, this is Fab Chic Modest. <laughs> so, we'll see um, at the end of the experiment if that really works. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so these are the shoes I'm trying to enlarge. They are just so cute. Oh my goodness. They are made in Italy. And I actually got them about, let me see, about 12 years ago. The brand, I wonder if we can see it. I cannot really read it, but made in Italy. And size eight, as you can see. And right now for most shoes, I wear eight and a half. Um, eight and a half or nine so I really don't want to part away from them honestly they are just too cute I just love the round almost square like though here um, you can see that now it's all trendy now so <laughs> yep nothing is new under the sun right so I just love the burgundy color oh my goodness it's so cute and the black heel 
it's such a nice leather shoe and I've had it for 12 years like I said and this got to fit I really want to make it fit for real I really don't want to give it up <laughs> some things I donate but you know maybe you can relate to me some things that you you don't you just don't want to part away from it you like it too much right so hopefully our experiment will work and I'll be able to wear them and be more comfortable since you know um, my feet kind of get kind of you know sausage like over here <laughs> goes back to you know my feet are bigger now so uh, yeah hopefully they'll fit hopefully whenever I put the ziplock back here it's going to enlarge um, it's going to enlarge the shoes to make me more comfortable and to so I can slip more of my toes inside the shoes so yeah so this is our experiment we're going to be making just to give you another view of the shoes oh my goodness they're such a nice quality pair of shoes so yeah so we shall see just a moment as you can see here I have um, the two Ziploc bags um, Ziploc I'm going to be using I just fill them up with just a little bit of water I mean, you can see better I didn't completely fill it up this way to allow for movements because the water has to circulate inside the bag so it can allow for freezing and expansion because this is the whole purpose so I got two bags here just simple Ziploc bags and uh, we shall start experimenting right so I'm going to put this bag over here since it's this side you know that doesn't fit or it's too tight let me try to insert it more okay yeah because it's got to when the water freezes over here then it's going to expand and allow for the shoe to fit better okay to the second one it's going to okay so it's going you know the water is going to become ice so it's going to eventually um, expand I didn't really want to fill it up too much otherwise it just wouldn't fit here you see what I mean so you need to leave some air inside as well so we can fit some space don't fill it up maybe like it um, just you know leave just a little bit of water and you just insert it and uh, we Next, we're going to put it in a regular bag, plastic bag, because, I mean, it's shoes, right? You don't want to put shoes straight into a freezer. <laughs> so I'm going to just put the shoes in a plastic bag. I have here just a regular Walmart plastic bag. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> I'm just being so silly. Uh-oh, can I do it with one hand? Okay. And the second shoe. There we go. Okay, I got it. So now we're going to be walking down to the freezer. All right. So now we are in our chest, <laughs> chest freezer, deep freeze. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe we're doing this. So I'm going to place the shoes. I actually placed, you know, like a bag and a few towels on top of the meat. You know, I mean, just so <laughs> that's I can put the shoes here. And the shoes, of course, are in a plastic bag. Let me make sure I try to make sure that there was room enough for the shoes. And I want it to be kind of standing up, right? So the process is the shoes will be, the water inside is going to be freezing. Um, I'm going to leave it overnight. Um, and of course, the shoes will be frozen themselves. And tomorrow, I'll remove them out of the bags and uh, remove the, um, the ice. <laughs> and I should let the shoes um, thaw out. And once they're cold, and I'll say room temperature, they're not cold anymore, then I'll try them on. And we shall see if uh, this is true, that you can actually expand your shoes. Um, putting them in, in the freezer with um, some water inside in the bag so yep 
so I'll shut the freezer and we'll see tomorrow then. Okay, girlfriend, so um, I got the bag out of the freezer, so everything is frozen. The ice should have formed, yeah, should have formed. It's formed, definitely. This is ice. And the shoes. So, so now trying to get this out let me see if i can wave one hand so you guys can see it okay almost there there you go ice is out so now i need to let the shoe thaw out let me try the second one and to try the second one just a moment oh this one is harder okay we can do this we can do this okay ali, ali, ali. okay so i removed the second bag of ice so now the shoes are completely cold so we need you can see we need to let them thaw out and then we can see later if they actually fit better okay girlfriend so as you can see the shoes are out of the freezer it's been actually two days and i am going to try them on and see if this experiment is a success huh okay let me put the second shoe on let me see huh i'll honestly say that i feel less pressure remember how it was too tight here I really feel less pressure though. Hmm. It's very interesting. I mean, they're still a bit tight, but I feel like I can wiggle better, you know, my feet in it. What do you think? So as you can see, the freezer has not ruined the shoes at all. So I think your shoes have to be genuine leather, um, really to be safe in the freezer because of going to the cold and process of you know freezing <laughs> like you saw earlier so um i would definitely give it a try if you have any pair of shoes that you do not want to let go of and you want to get them to enlarge a little bit so you can fit in them you sh you should definitely see those shoes in one of my lookbooks <laughs> i think they're great don't you think so yes I like them very much. I think they got a little bit bigger. I hope you enjoyed this experiment with me and definitely my conclusions are that it works. I would say that, you know, um, the shoes have expanded a little bit. However, you know, if you're a size six and you want your shoes to be a size nine, please do not. I, don't, I think that it's unrealistic you know to think that your shoes can expand even one shoe size um, just a little bit you know to be more comfortable to not hurt as much and the shoes are definitely intact I'm just so amazed um, the leather has not swollen there is no trace of water you wouldn't even know that <laughs> I froze both shoes so yeah I'll definitely say go ahead if you have genuine leather shoes and it will help you um, keep your shoes and uh, wear them and be more comfortable so yeah I am so glad we did this experiment and stay tuned for more